three wheel steering so that they can actually you know turn, turn all the wheels together. I wonder yeah I wonder how much of the how much of the he suggested a lot but you'd have to have two separate well you'd also have to have this mount it doesn't look like there's a whole lot of yeah it sure doesn't good place for the manual it yeah great sound that's for the warranty <laughs> That is cool. Yeah, I can see a steering wheel. Nope. Here, let me. I can turn on a rear wheel steering if you want to see what it looks like. So, look in the back here. The front is a conventional steering. So, can you, can you see the actuator back there? Let's look down in there. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. If you, if you look back there, you can see the actuator that moves the wheel itself. On the left side. Look on the left side. Well, but how did... Yes. So, in three-wheel steering... Uh, you just, I, I thought you implied that they were all going parallel to each other. Well, you can choose. It's, it's just code. You just press the button. Oh, it's, it goes oh, it's actually way. a servo. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a servo. It's mechanical to the front and the servo to the back. Exactly. Wow. So we always make it so that you can always steer more with the front than you can with the rear. Uh -huh. So even if it's, say, like there's a code glitch and it's locked all the way, you can still pull off the road and fix it. So you can steer 10 degrees with the front and 7 degrees with the rear. Awesome. Which is enough to get the, the, the dominant... Uh, side winds in Australia, which is about eight knots or so, uh, perpendicular to the. That looks highway. like you have a linear actuator for that rear servo. That's correct. Yeah. Made by a company that makes actuators for tanks. This part you've seen, right? Have you had trouble with the lock? No. The so like with the code, the, like the problems with this car are, are the code, right? And generally things will time out and fail after a certain amount of time. And there are like bugs where you have to reset the car every like you know, well, some they, amount of time, right? Are, so really like there's like a 30 minute bug, so you fix that one and then you get to the hour bug. bug. <laughs> and right before the race we fixed a three hour bug with the battery pack. And there's a four hour bug with the uh, with the with this code here. So you have to reset it every four hours. So after four hours it just stops responding and you reset the car again. Yeah. 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 Yeah.